Cairns have become such an incredible nuisance to society that an actual law has been passed addressing some of the shit Cairns do, and it's actually just called Karen. It's about people that are making racially charged fake police phone calls. It's pretty fucking wild just how insane this surge in Karen activity has been. This is something on like a biblical scale, something that you'd read about in like a history textbook of some kind of plague that swept across the world at some point, and we're living through it right now. And uh, I think all of us just think every Karen is a big dumb fucking idiot with this incredible mistrust of anything scientifically accurate or anything that comes from a position of authority. Like if scientists came out tomorrow and said, hey, just want to remind everyone the air is safe to breathe and good for you, these Karens and Facebook anti-vax moms would then start questioning whether or not it's safe to breathe air. Like, oh fuck, they must have poisoned the air. Oh my god, I knew it. I knew it all along. Oxygen is the devil. Wake up, you sheep. This is the truth. We need to start trying to live underwater. And then they'd all, like, drown themselves in their own fucking bathtub or something to escape the evil oxygen that the government has, you know, put out into the world or some shit. It's just been absolutely wild stuff. But I actually came across an extremely intelligent Karen, a self-proclaimed genius musician Karen. And I think it'd be fun to take a look at what a smart Karen might look like. But before we do that, I'd like to share with you a very rare male Karen. Six feet away from you. You're harassing me. My I'm not harassing you. You are using something else. You're coming close threatened. to me. You're coming close Back to me. Back off! Threaten me again! Dance. Back the fuck up! Put your fucking phone down! Yes, sir. This delightful dickhead right here is Daniel, and he was an insurance salesman until this video came out, and he got fired in around 8 or 9 hours after this video went viral. Daniel fucking speed ran unemployment, a very impressive any percent route there executed by Daniel. You can say a lot of shit about Daniel, but you absolutely cannot call into question his ability to strike a mean power stance. I love that shit. It looks like he's a member of the Ginyu force, getting ready to get in position to strike up their pose. I mean, what, what kind of fucking power stance is this? It's like an action figure that's a little too stiff, like the joints don't move around correctly. Or like a video game NPC with like a shitty walk animation. Now I'd like to share with everyone why he shouted, I feel threatened. It's a law in Florida, and this happened in Florida, where if you exclaim that you feel threatened, you can pretty much do whatever you want to the person who's threatening you. You can literally kill that person and be deemed self-defense because you said you felt threatened. It's like an actual fucking cheat code you can use. Like, oh, I feel threatened, and then you fucking torture somebody, and Florida would be like, well, he did say he feels threatened, so it's all good. It's fucking silly. I've actually seen this happen in the real world before. Uh, I was at a bar, and I don't know what was going on between these two dudes, but one of them shouted, I feel threatened, verbatim, because that's like the fucking code word. He shouted that, and then Goldberg speared a man into this fucking support beam that was holding up this, uh, I don't know, some shit to stop the rain. It wasn't raining, but there's like this little covering over top of one of the bars, and he speared him into that shit and fucking broke that fucking support beam. And all because he said, I feel threatened, which gives him the legal right to do some shit like that. At least that's how I understand it. Because I've seen it happen, and this dude doing that, it seems to me like he wanted to at least cover his bases if he wanted to get physical with this guy. Because Florida has some stupid fucking laws like that. Good. Now this video here comes from a man named Brian Tao, who was biking through an anti-mask rally, and uh, he, he gets a little more than he bargained for here. He bites off a little more than he can chew with this lady you're about to see enter the scene. You're getting a little sneak peek of her right here, and you're about to see her in full force. He ripped up the little brochure, and now he's summoned a demon. Is somebody being rude to you? You only need to take to them? Have a good day. I think coronavirus might be the least of humanity's concerns when people like this continue to reproduce and instill these beliefs in their children and then those kids grow up to be this fucking disgusting clone of their parents that believe this abhorrent shit. Got you on video. Have me on video. And because your name that's then? What is, that's what, my name is Kellyanne Wolf. I'll give you my name. Okay, you have a business so, card? No, I don't have a business card. Okay. I don't need to provide you have Insta Do you have you Instagram? Do you have Facebook? I'm all over the place. I'm a musician and a very popular one. Uh, so 
so you'll, it'll be very easy for you to find so what? To be so confident in your stinky horseshit beliefs to put your actual name and face on it in a video where you look like a total asshole is so baffling to me. But she really wanted her name out there, so I decided to look into it. She claimed she's a very popular musician, and it'd be easy to find her, and it was easy to find her, because there's a lot of people that are making fun of her. Her Facebook page has 50 likes on it. Her YouTube channel had 15 subs, but when I went back an hour or two ago, it was up to 40 subs, so she's a musician on the rise. I have no doubt she'll be charting in Billboard pretty soon here with some of the bangers that she's produced. Let's go ahead and take a listen to one and maybe she could be the next Ariana Grande or the next Taylor Swift. She could be a huge star in the making. It reminds me of music you'd hear in Spongebob, like if Spongebob started like a shitty pop country band or something, as kind of a, a show joke, not like an actual musician's career, but to each their own. I do have to say the instrumentals I think are actually ripped from the Ed, Ed and Eddie episode where Double D's playing that weird fucking instrument on the back of a boat where Ed's like propelling them with his feet, if anyone remembers that. It, it reminds me of that instrument, whatever the fuck that was. It's a weird genre, uh, but who knows, perhaps this is the next big genre to pop off. This could be like the new dubstep for the country community. Couldn't tell ya. you. Are the kind, anybody who is going to commit to this kind of civil obedience mm. is the same kind of people that believe their government when they walk the Jews into the gas tank. That's what I said. So you can Good. quote me. Good. I will never not be amazed at the people that are claiming this civil obedience is some kind of disease and we're all just puppets of the government when every single one of them practices the same civil obedience, but it doesn't apply to them. This lady is, by definition, conforming to what the government says she has to do, which is wearing clothes in public. Whether or not it's a choice she makes on her own doesn't matter. The government is telling her to do it and she's complying. But for some reason, asking people to wear a mask during a fucking pandemic is a little too far for these goddamn idiots that think putting something over your mouth instantly kills you, suffocates you, smothers you. It's just unbelievable to me how dumb people are these days. People only have an issue when something is new. If it's something that's been around since they were young, they don't care, even though it's the exact same fucking thing. You have to wear clothes in public. They don't get upset about that. I don't see a lot of these anti-maskers going around naked delivering their message about why you shouldn't listen to the government. Why is that? Why is it only the mask that you take an issue with when it's encouraged to wear one for the safety of everybody else? No one claims a mask is 100% effective, but it is proven to at least help. Why wouldn't you want to mitigate some of the risk? Well, it's because these fucking people have this insane desire to be unique, special, and smart when they're the dumbest fucking people in the world who are just clones of each other, just actual NPCs repeating the same goddamn script. They're the actual sheep. They just follow blindly whatever they see online, and they can't recognize the hypocrisy of criticizing people for following the government's instructions when they literally live their entire lives following the government's instructions. They just follow older rules instead of some newer ones that are encouraged. I'm a member of Mensa, and I have a master's in political science. <laughs> <laughs> 13 degrees in psychology. This woman is collecting psychology degrees like Pokemon cards out here. Is there even 13 branches of psychology? Like shit. She must really have some degrees in some obscure ones like fucking video game addiction psychology. The psychology behind wanting to touch your wiener more than two times a day like some real specific ones. And then a fucking member of Minsa. You know how you can immediately know someone's not in any way associated with Minsa? is when they're telling you that they're associated with Mensa. How much did, how much did you pay for those degrees? It's like this to me. Yeah, that's fine. I'll never be as smart as What's that? Do you really believe that helps you? Oh yeah, it does. Wearing that shows how much intelligence you actually have. So, okay. Super soccer moms write about one thing. Wearing a mask does demonstrate just how much intelligence you have. It shows you have at least a very basic level of intelligence. Like the most basic common sense level of intelligence possible. You can identify everyone who's a fucking idiot in public by whether or not they're wearing a mask. If they're not wearing a mask, they're pretty fucking dumb. If they are, well, they're at least kind of in the right ballpark when it comes to just 
basic understanding of the most general concepts. Hey, I asked someone else here. Come here, come here. I want to ask you something. So this is there are two things from here. 2010. What's this that? This is a pandemic from 2010. Okay, so why don't you think the masks work? Why don't you think the masks work? They don't work. They but just, why? They, why? They medically don't work. Why? You cannot, you cannot keep it from getting a virus. It's actually like arguing with children. Well, why doesn't it work? Well, because it doesn't. No, 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 but why doesn't it work? Well, because it medically doesn't. Yeah, but why? It doesn't. It's so fucking infuriating. I don't know how Brian can even keep his cool with that kind of conversation happening. So you don't believe this mask will stop a virus it particle? Won't. Right? Oh, no. I'll tell you why. A virus is a thousand times smaller than a bacteria. A virus will not, that will not stop a virus. Okay, so you After also believe, you top doctors, doctors, but you listen. also believe that you it have, stops an oxygen like molecule? Then, then you can take away your attitude, and I'll have to... I don't have you. an attitude, I'm yeah, just you asking did. you. You're, you're trying to ridicule me from the get-go. So Brian makes a point to try and tell these people that their argument is a load of bullshit. They believe that the virus escapes through the mask, so the mask is totally useless. And meanwhile, oxygen can't get into the mask, so the people wearing a mask can't breathe and they're getting sick due to lack of oxygen. Which makes no fucking sense, because oxygen is significantly smaller than a virus. I think it's a hundred or a thousand times smaller than a virus. So their argument just doesn't work. If the virus is getting through the mask, it'd be impossible for oxygen not to get into the mask considering it's so much smaller. And the fact that the virus is so much larger than oxygen means the mask at least helps the virus not get out. It just, it, I don't even know why it bothers fucking trying to explain it to these people. I don't even know why I'm going into detail because it's fucking common sense really. But it's not that these people don't believe it. It's that they don't want to believe it so they've con convinced themselves the science is all wrong and the science is only right when it's applied on Facebook. It's, it's just a matter of people refusing to accept the truth because they want to believe something else yes so you probably i don't think you understand if this is what a 195 iq looks like then there must be something really fucking wrong with the tests that are administered but uh anyway we've at least seen what it looks like when a karen has a genius level intellect in fact one of the highest recorded intellects of all time 195 is no joke and we can really see it in full display here. Just really all the neurons firing there, all kinds of incredible arguments and whatever. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. So yeah.